to the Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast with Daniel White III. We are glad that you have joined us as Daniel White III encourages us to pray without ceasing throughout the day, every day, for the glory of God. Welcome to another Prayer Motivator devotional broadcast. Broadcast number 259. Uh, you might wonder why you never hear me mention the day of the week. Well, the reason for that is because if the Lord should tarry his coming, these recordings will go on long after I'm dead and gone and in heaven. And uh, we want to, the people who will be uh, broadcasting these messages to feel free to use them any day of the week. And therefore, we do not date these broadcasts. With that said, as always, it is so good to be with you today to encourage you to pray. Today, I would like to begin by sharing with you a poem titled The Prayer of Agra by my daughter, Daniela White. Lord, my prayer is simple. These things of thee I desire. Grant them to be before I die. Lord, is truly my desire. Deliver me from deception and from those who speak lies. Help me to live and speak truth. Deliver me from evil ties. I do not ask to be rich, lest I forget you made each day. I do not ask for fame, lest I forget to walk in thy way. I only ask for contentment, that I do not follow the world's attraction, that I fall in love with who you are, and with grace gain satisfaction. Lord, this is my heart's desire for all I say and do. I'm not the smartest or wisest in the world, but I want my life to honor you. Ladies and gentlemen, the, the simple purpose by way of remembrance of this broadcast is to motivate, encourage, and exhort you to simply just pray. <clears throat> this radio broadcast is not necessarily for people who already know the secret and power of prayer and who actually practice genuine prayer on a regular basis. Rather, it is for those who may find it difficult to pray as you will see in this broadcast, a wonderful quote, uh, how that, above all else, the most difficult thing to do in the Christian life, believe it or not, believe it or not, rather, is to pray. It is for people who claim also that they do not somehow have time to pray which uh, points to the difficulty of keeping a faithful prayer life. I am convinced that most Christian people do not really need to learn how to pray. They need to just pray. Prayer is that simple. Uh, when you really get down to it, talking to God, it's, it's not hard at all. Uh, however, the flesh and the world and the devil make it hard and difficult. But God gives us the grace to overcome those things. If I can get you to just simply pray, cry, Abba Father, all sorts of wonderful things will begin to happen for you, your family and whatever God has called you to do. And I'm not talking about financial blessings, uh, necessarily or material blessings 
but spiritual blessings, having a whole new mindset, being content with what things you have, etc. We do not pray, ladies and gentlemen, based upon our subjective feelings. Rather, we pray based upon objective facts laid out in the Word of God. Our prayer motivator verse for today is Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, which reads, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Allow me, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to share with you a few important points by way of commentary through Matthew Henry's commentary. <clears throat> he goes on to say, National repentance, prayer, and reformation are required. Verse 14, God expects that his people who are called by his name, if they have dishonored his name by their iniquity, should honor it by accepting the punishment of their iniquity. They must be humble themselves under his hand, must pray for the removal of the judgment, must seek the face and favor of God, and yet all this will not do unless they turn from their wicked ways and return to the God from whom they have revolted. National mercy is then promised that God will forgive their sin which brought the judgment upon them and then heal their land, redress all their grievances. Pardoning mercy makes ways for healing mercy. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator quote today, uh, which I found very fascinating, is from D. Martin Lloyd Jones. He said, When a man is speaking to God, he is at his very acme. He is at the height of his life. It is the highest activity of the human soul. And therefore, it is at the same time the ultimate test of a man's true spiritual condition. There is nothing that tells the truth about us as Christian people so much as our prayer life. Everything we do in the Christian life is easier than prayer. Wow. Everything we do in the Christian life is easier than prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, our prayer motivator devotional today is part 11 of our series titled How to Exercise Your Faith and Grow Greater Faith in God from Dr. John R. Rice. In order to help grow your faith, you can win souls. Along with prayer, my friend, you can win souls. God's word is clear in Psalm 126.6 that if you really go weeping, bearing precious seed, you shall doubtless come back rejoicing with sheaves. Jesus in the Great Commission plainly promised that if we go to win souls and baptize them and teach them to go, that lo, I am with you always. Why don't you, in your timidity, in your conscience, ignorance, in your faltering, even in your unbelief, set out to see if God's word can be trusted on that point? You know it can. Go earnestly with real labor, 
really searching out lost people. Go with a broken heart of concern and holy compassion wrought in you by the Spirit of God. Go with the Word of God, which is the precious seed. Go praying as you go, and as certain as God's Word is true, you will come back with some sheaves and with rejoicing. You will not win everybody you speak to, just as no fisherman gets a fish for every bait. And just as no farmer gets a stalk of corn for every seed, but you will get some fruit if you go God's way. If you go praying, why don't you try it and see? When you have tried it once, you will know that the word of God is true. You will know it in a way you never knew it before. A teacher may become a modernist. And a person who is even a postmodernist, but a real evangelist cannot become a modernist. For God's word proves itself when you try it out. Ladies and gentlemen, and my dear friends, it is time for us to pray. Pray as we go. Pray as we have faith in God to win souls in these last and evil days. Remember, the announcer will provide the information for you to send in your prayer request. We pray for thousands of folks every day. We pray 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In most cases, we have people praying every 15 minutes, calling out people in prayer. This is a praying time, and uh, starting this week, we're going to be offering uh, an ebook for you, and uh, on prayer, and other things that will encourage you in the matter of prayer. Holy Father God, we pray. In the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, help us to pray today because these are praying times. And Lord, we praise you and we thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your love, and your grace. And Lord, we individually confess our own sins and our failures and faults to you. For Jesus Christ's sake, Lord, please forgive us of our sins. We know that you have. We know that you will wash and cleanse us in the blood of Christ. Make us whiter than snow. Lord, on this day, fill us with your Holy Spirit and help us to live for you. Lord, we pray for every pastor, every church leader, every missionary, every evangelist across this country and around the globe. Lord, fill them with thine Holy Spirit. Strengthen them and use them. Deliver them from temptation, evil, and sin. Help them to love right, live right, think right, and do right, and to win many souls to thee. Lord, we pray, just from our ministry here, through our ministry here, that you'd anoint us and bless us and use us to see over three million people come to know you as Savior before you bring me home or even after, Lord, whatever you see fit. We do pray for the revival of your true church. We pray for the healing of this nation. We pray for our president and all governmental officials truly save them all, fill them with thine Holy Spirit, teach them your holy word, lead them, guide them, and direct them in the path and in the way that you want them to go. That we may lead peaceful lives Holy Father God, now, Lord, we pray for three people that we have chosen from our list of thousands here at Gospel Light Society to pray for the prayer requests that they have sent in. Lord, we pray for Mary in Nairobi, Kenya. Give her peace of mind. Grant her your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit to love right, live right, think right, 
and do right and to do that which is pleasing in your sight in Kenya. Lord, revive her and her family again and use them to be the shining lights and witnesses you want them to be. Meet every need in their life. And Lord, she's not requesting any money or any material things. But Lord, we all have needs and we pray that you bless her because she did not ask for those things. Bless her abundantly with the monies and the material things that she needs and her family need. Lord, we pray for Dinesh and United Arab Emirates. Help him to understand the word of God. Touch Mr. Swami's heart so that Dinesh can marry his daughter. Well, if that be your will, Lord, have it come to pass even today. Lord, we pray for Scott in Littleton, Colorado. Forgive them of their sins and wrongdoings, their weaknesses in mind, body, and spirit. Deliver them from temptation, evil, and sin. Lord, their lack of patience, deliver them from that uh, and give them understanding and faith. This is their request. They're also asking that you show them mercy and grace and bring them back together as a family as fast as possible. Pray for Scott, the wife, Jennifer, children, Grace 7, Tyler 3, Justin 2. Bless them financially and give them a new career. Give them a new home and help them to get out of debt and recover their good credit. Give them a car and help them to find a good church home. Lord, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, please rebuke and bind the devil and his demons and his host from this family today. Holy Father God, we thank you for making us to be a small part of your soul-saving ministry. And Lord, we pray for the following people who have recently received you as Savior through this ministry, have believed on you for their salvation through this ministry here at Gospel Light Society. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen them in the faith, lead God and direct them to grow and, and help them to grow in the faith, help them to find a good Bible-believing home, and Lord, help us to be uh, the Christians and the disciples that you want us to be for them. We pray specifically for Martinez in Sila City, North Carolina. We pray for Adon in Peru. We pray for Faith in Donaldsonville, Georgia. Now, Lord, we pray for the following people also who have been saved for a while, but who have recommitted their lives to you. We rejoice with them uh, and as they have rededicated their life to you. Uh, they have gone astray a little bit and they have, they're coming back now and we rejoice with them in this decision to come back to you and to rededicate their lives to you. And Lord, we pray that you would strengthen them in the faith. We pray specifically for Debbie in Fort Smith, Arizona, Makisha in Virginia, and Wachio in Jalisco, Mexico. We pray in the holy name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you bless these your people. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Now dear friend if you're listening to this broadcast on prayer and uh, you really don't know all that we're talking about here but you want to know, you want to be in the family, you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. The Bible says in Romans 10:9. And 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, friend of mine, if you're willing to trust Christ as your Savior today, please pray with me the following prayer. It's very simple. Salvation was very hard for the Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It was not simple at all, but it is simple for us uh, to partake in the salvation. God is not willing that any should perish. So if you want to be saved today, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for you, was buried and rose again. 
and pray with me a simple prayer like this and just repeat it after me phrase by phrase <clears throat> Heavenly Father I realize that I am a sinner I know that I have done some bad things Lord in my life for Jesus Christ's sake please forgive me of all of my sins I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life. Amen. Dear friend, if you have accepted Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, please contact us today so that we can send you a free copy of our pamphlet titled What to Do After You Enter Through the Door. This will help you get started in your Christian life. Until then, remember dear friend, pray, think, do. God bless you.